Los Angeles Clippers this year have been straight frauds. Um, this is the team this year where I had heavy expectations because you got the collection of talent. You was known through the consensus around the NBA that you got the deepest roster in the NBA. You also was getting, you know, arguably a top five player in the NBA, Kawhi Leonard, right? Uh, all NBA player is returning to Paul George, right? And, you know, the collection of talent that they added in the offseason, getting in John Wall, resigning Robert Covington. You got the collection of wings and talent. Everybody thought that the Los Angeles Clippers this year, including me, right, would hit big strides during the regular season, and they have did the exact opposite, man. This is becoming a disaster for the Los Angeles Clippers. Kawhi and PG are in and out of the lineup. Tyron Lu rotations are horrible, right? The medical staff is not allowing Kawhi Leonard and Paul George alongside with John Wall to play back to backs, right? And this team, ladies and gentlemen, we're in the second week of January, ladies and gentlemen. And the Los Angeles Clippers are 23 and 24. That is unacceptable. Not only are they 23 and 24, ladies and gentlemen, but they won the worst offensive teams in the NBA. And their defense this year, which started off the season top five, for over the last 10 games, right? The Los Angeles Clippers has lost seven games. All, out of that seven to eight games that they lost, their defense have took a big digress to one of the worst in the league, ladies and gentlemen. Right? Not only this team has been bad and inconsistent and up and down, but against teams above 500, ladies and gentlemen, the Los Angeles Clippers are the worst against teams above 500. Right? Are they the second worst, I believe? I'm sorry about that. The first is the Houston Rockets. So they've been bad against great teams as well. And at the end of the day, we're looking at another disappointing season for the Los Angeles Clippers. Right? Kawhi Leonard and Paul George was bought to bring the Clippers a championship. Right? Even though they got walked down in the bubble, right? We have sit there and said that, oh, it's maybe the coaching, maybe. You know, they don't have nobody. You know, they got a you know, um, two-face in there and Montrez Hero. So, you know, we everybody literally made an excuse on why they got walked down 3-1, which I didn't. We, we absolute joke, right? Then in the second season, in the 2020-2021 season, right, the Los Angeles Clippers bounced back. It was the number one rated offensive rating team. It was the number one rated three-point shooting team. I believe they won, what, close to 50 games that season, right? And then we go to the playoffs. Kawhi Leonard's performing at historically postseason great highs, right? And then he got injured in the second round against the Utah Jazz. The Clippers going along to lose a series against the Phoenix Suns, right? Um, and everybody sat there and said if the Los Angeles Clippers were healthy, they would have beat, you know, the Phoenix, the uh, Milwaukee Bucks and beat the Phoenix Suns to win a championship. And we didn't see it because... Their best player got injured, Kawhi Leonard. Then last year, they remained a competitive team. They finished, a, uh, I believe, a top 10 defensive rate team. Um, they were still one of the best three-point shooting teams in the NBA. Um, they were the AC, and that's with Kawhi Leonard missing the whole season. That's with it. That's with Paul George missing half the season, right? Uh, even though they missed the playoffs, right? Lost in this clip, but still remained a competitive team. But... Going forward to this season, everybody had high hopes of the Los Angeles Clippers because if you look at how the collection of talent played missing their two stars, they thought if you bring them back, this team is going to be 10 times better and it had been the exact opposite. There's so much problems wrong with this Clippers team. No chemistry, no camaraderie, right? Uh, this depth that we overhyped for the Los Angeles Clippers this year got to be one of the most overrated depth ever because you have the wings, you have these ball-dominant guards, and a coach of Tyron Lue just don't know how to use them, right? Then this team 
is an older team as well. They so heavily relied on Nicholas Batoon and you know they don't play Roko whatsoever, right? Um, you got Reggie Jackson who's getting older in age. Marcus Morris, who's you know when he's hot, he's hot, but when he's not hot, he gets killed, right? Defensively, right? He does not impact the game whatsoever, right? Us uh, supposed to power force supposed to do, right? They don't have a true big, right? And when I mean true big, and I mean a backup center, they don't have that. They trade their backup center or they let their backup center go by getting John Wall this year. And John Wall, you know, performance for the loss in the Clippers is not what they thought it would be. He's been up and down, right? Not only the roster, the depth, the chemistry, there's no camaraderie. No way that you got all that talent, ladies and gentlemen. And you one of the worst offensive rated teams in the NBA. It's just sad, bro. It's just sad. Right? And your head coach, the guy that everybody hyped up to be one of the best coaches in the NBA, even though even though I fall, you know, fall, fell in that trap as well. This man does not know how to throw in a acceptable lineup out there to win games. And Tyron Lue rotations have literally lost games for the Los Angeles Clippers. The Clippers are just a jump shooting team. No players are being right. Don't know how to close out games. This Los Angeles Clippers team looking like pure frauds this season, ladies and gentlemen. Pure frauds. Right? And I've been a heavy advocate for the Los Angeles Clippers. But I'm here to tell you, I was wrong. I was wrong. Until... Tyron Lue gets his act together until the players start performing to their standard until Kawhi and PG play consistently as a collective group together consistently every game, right? Until the medical staff start having Kawhi Leonard Paul George play back to back because what they're doing right now and being so conservative with their stars because you scared that they're going to get injured. Well, you got to still go out there and win the games. You got to still go out there and win these back-to-backs. You got to still go out there and put up winning streaks to get in the playoffs, right? So at the end of the day, this team right here is not a good team. It's not a good team. The Clippers might be the biggest frauds in the NBA. We hype this team up. This team... Is one of the teams that can actually come up the West that people sat there and said it was the consistent word. And right there, they're not performing to their standards. They're not. This, this team is not contenders. This team is not serious. This team is not serious. Right? Right now, the Los Angeles Clippers are at what? The six or seven seed. They just lost to Utah Jazz, right? When did this team is going to say, you know what? We got to play to our standard. We got to play well. But why at PG, you have to play consistent. You got to play back to backs. We got to fix the issue of what's going on with this team. Because we can sit there and say, oh, we need this. We need to get younger. We need to get athletic. But the thing is, the performance on the floor is not well whatsoever. And I understand Kawhi Leonard, you know, over the last, what, five, six, seven games, been averaging what close to what 25 26 points per game on 50 40 90 splits so he's been playing well but outside of that the collection of talent like norman powell reggie terrence you know uh nicks batoon marcus morris zubat all these guys play have been inconsistent and at the end of the day Kawhi leonard and paul george was set to bring the Los Angeles Clippers a championship. Right now, they're looking like They're looking like fit. And right now, they're on fraud alert. They're on fraud alert until they get there. I keep it consistent. This team is not no great. They've been playing piss poor. Let me know what you think in the comment section, man. Make sure you subscribe. Hit the like button. I'll holler at y'all in the next. Peace. Okay.